Because I need a uh, mic. That's my water bottle. No, no, no. Oh, who got something like mic? Okay, hey, that one my my food I'll take care. At the national stadium watching the game between Tsunami United rugby team and against the rest of the world rugby team. And we see Tsunami United gathered together, bowing their heads. And what are they doing? It seems like they are Christian rugby team and hey, they are praying. And they are done, I hear I can almost hear a faint amen. Huh? What is going on? The players are walking back to the bench and the coach is walking up to the field. Never in my 20 years as a commentator for rugby have I seen such a thing like this. I have to get my reporter to go down live to check out what exactly is happening. Hello, uh, you are the right back from uh, Tsunami United, right? Tell me, tell me, what, what, what's, what's going on right here? Why is your coach going out to the field to play? <laughs> oh, <laughs> at Tsunami United, our coach is much better than us. Hey, think about it. He has 10 over years of rugby experience compared to newbies like us. It's better we sit here, cheer for our coach, and, and you know, root him on and let him play. And that's, that's why, that's why. Okay. Uh, well, that was a. Uh, Diao from Tsunami United. Ah, it's amazing. I don't know what's going on here. Back to you, studio. Wow, that was just that live interview that I brought, bring to you from the field. And now we see the coach lining up against 11 men from the opposing team. How will it turn out? The ball is thrown, the coach catches it, the coach runs down, and whoa, it's amazing speed, but he's tackled! By 11 men on him and his pound on, and he's down. <coughs> hey, what, what's happening down there? Hey, the coach is down. He's unconscious. And the opposing team just got a go. I go on back to my real self. You think that's ridiculous? But so often, that's the picture that we see in our church. It's the pastor that do all the work. It's the leader of youth ministry that does everything. Hey, I'm inviting, but it's not my problem. It's Tiao who does the work. Hey, I'm in Tsunami, but I'm just a mere member. It's Teresa, it's Eleanor, it's Tiao, it's Marcus who do it. Why? I, I'm just a mere member, you see. It's my leader who should do the job. But hear what God has to say. From Ephesians chapter 4, Christ has given the church apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers catch this, to prepare God's people for works of service. It is not the leaders who do the work. God did not give leaders to Choma! No. God gave leaders to equip Christians, to equip all of us here, lay people, people with, who, are, who are not leaders in a sense, to serve. It's not Pastor Jason who will lead the church or it's not Pastor Paul who will say, I will reach the whole Middle East continent for God's glory. No, it is us. Your pastor, your leader, the person who God has placed over in your life is meant to be like a playing coach. He's there to give you tactics, techniques, to train you how to play in that game. He's not there to take your place and to play. And then we bring you back live from uh, the National Stadium. And here we are again witnessing a clash between the two titans, Tsunami United and the rest of the world, probably. And now we see a change. This is just five minutes into the first half. And we see the rugby team, Tsunami, again gathering together. They are huddling together, huddling together. Why are they called putting their arms over each other? And a team. I see amazing team unity, amazing team spirit. Hey, hey, hey. I'm running out. The referee just called a penalty for delaying play. And move the ball five yards back. Still the team is huddling, huddling. Whatever. And another penalty. Hey, the referee is calling for yet another penalty. It's the third penalty. And, and the fourth. And, and it looks like Tsunami United is not 
willing to let go of their embrace, they're still embracing each other over there at the field, hugging each other, oh, 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 hey guys, we can do it, man, we can do it. That's what they're saying. But it's been five penalties and now the ball is back at the starting line. What's going on? Well, we have to bring you reporting live, our reporter, uh, Mr. Marcus, from the field. <laughs> well, I'm here at the field and it's an amazing sight. In all my 17 years as a sports reporter, I've never seen a rugby team hugging each other, embracing each other like that on the field for so long. And the referee has just caught foul, 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 and yet they're still here. I have to check this out, you know, I have to check this out. Hey, 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 it's an army rider. Stop. Stop hugging each other. I can't. Uh, I need to ask, uh, how long do you want to hug her for? And now, uh, very quick, fast on his feet. Runner. Oh! Uh, we love hugging uh, with each other. <laughs> and you know, this is the greatest hugger that we ever had. You know, some of these guys inside this hugger go, they have amazing tactics. Sorry, I speak like this, I'm a big team, and so I, I speak like this, I run fast, my voice come out fast. So, so what are we doing here? We are actually discussing tactics. We are, we are, oh, that, that, that guy over there, the big guy, whoo, he you knows a lot of tactics on the play, the ball up. And then, and then the coach, what? he's sharing with us how, how to pass the ball from left to right and then break down the opponent. <laughs> That's what we are doing. How do we? Huh? But well, that guy's voice is terrible. <laughs> but let me let me check with another guy. Let me check with the let me check with the coach. Why are they doing what they are doing? Uh, uh hello, Mr. Coach. Uh, may I know what you're doing? What you're doing? When are you going back to the field? Huh? He asked me a question. Why should we go back to the field? What they want are bigger and better, harder. They want bigger hearts. They are saying that no one ever get hurt. Hardening, but when you go out and play, you get hurt. Back, back, back to you, the studio. This is crazy. This team is either united or insane. Or maybe both. Isn't this the same with sometimes our church? Our church are always looking to have a holy huddle. Always wanting to be part of this family, a fellowship, a group. All we want is to sing, to worship, to play, to have fun, to enjoy each other's company. All we want is to come on Friday to listen to Ian's message and say, Whoa, that's a great message. Wonderful, thank God. On Saturday, we just want to come and do activities. We just want to be in our comfort zone. But the church is supposed to be Christ's body. His hands, his feet, and his voice, by which God carries out his plan to the world. And in Ephesians chapter 3, we read this God intends for the church to share the wisdom of God. And we all know the Great Commission Go ye therefore and teach all nations. But when all we want to do is to fellowship, all we want to do is to stick in our comfort zone, we are not going out to reach the world. And that's not what the church should be like. Okay, we are back live in the studio and I'm your uh, guest speaker for today, commenter, commenter, uh, the, the, the. I'm here to comment on uh, the next scene. Okay, we see now they are breaking off from their herder and they are going back to the field. At least it's better they are going back to the field. But hey, the quarterback is fighting with the other quarterback. What are they doing? They're shopping and pushing each other and hey, 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 hey. Oh, the big guy is pulling a small guy. He's just tossing him around. And I see a WWE suplex move. Whoa! Wow, what is this team doing? It's an exhibition match. I mean, looking at this team alone, it's an exhibition wrestling match. I better bring you live from our reporter to check out what's going on. It is a crazy team. Yo guys, I'm back again with Tsunami United as we have seen the past two encounters, they are really crazy. And here we have the next scene, the players fighting with each other. Uh, let me check the coach what's going on, yeah? Uh, hello coach, uh, 
I, I'm the reporter for today. I just want to check what's, what's going on with your guys out there in the field, huh? Oh, yo, yo, man, no problem, man. I was just thinking of uh, celebrating in a pub later, and they say, no, no, go country club, nah. so we fight, fight. Uh, and you know that, that, that Chinese guy over there is, don't like the black guy over there, they just quarreling over the color of the race. And you know what, that, that, that quarterback, he said that, hey, we had done do gym training, it's too show. he won the death crawl. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And over there, over there, that, that, that fast runner, he said that, hey, the shoes that is sponsored is New Balance. Yucks, he wants, he wants Adidas, he's fighting with the New Balance guy. The Nike guy is going in and look at them, we're going to start a fight. Well, this is my team. This is my team. They, they just fight over everything. Oh, you know what? We had an argument the other day about what color jersey we should have. Whether you should have the logo here, a logo here, or logo here, or logo here. Well, that's them on, on the field. But at least they're there, huh? They're, they're just fighting. It, it's normal, it's guys. I'm the reporter. That's uh, this, this what the coach just said. Uh, send it back to you, uh, Mr. Comment. <coughs> Peter. This Tsunami United is the craziest rugby team I've ever seen in my whole First, they send the coach out. Secondly, they just huddle with each other. And, and now they are fighting each other. Isn't this sometimes the case we see in our church? We are always having small little fights and small little quarrels. We are quarreling over what song we can sing. I don't like Amazing Grace. I like more woohoo, cool songs. But I don't like ear preaching. It's so boring. I like, I like, I like them. Fiery, uh, Pastor Mike preaching. No, 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 you say no, Pastor Mike speaks too fast. I like the, the more uh, fatherly Pastor Paul preaching. No, 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 Pastor Paul, no, 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 no structure. I like Pastor Jason preaching, three points. We fight over this. And we go on. Wow, why are you so unholy? Your Bible is what? MLT. Uh. Ooh, uh, look at mine, man. King James Version. Thou art to be ashamed of yourself, of thyself, sorry. We fight over Bible translation. I go kite flying, I hate kite flying, no. If you go arcade la, then gaming la. Ayo, what then gaming? <laughs> Cannot la. We must go to play sport ma. Girl now also must play sport ma. Ayo, you all don't have play, play, play. Then we study one la. Must study also. Let, let's uh, read the, let's read the, uh, you know that one, the lot of the ring, the thick, thick one. Wow, oh, jia la la, you like to read book la. I don't like read book la, I like to go, you know what? Shopping la, uh, what? Adidas Nike new shirt la, the new, the new Cristiano Ronaldo boots got seen la. Wow, super good la. And the new man new jersey, so ugly. Wow, you must go and, wow, jia la, jia la la. Eh, you might hurt la. The white food la, the river. You know what they're doing la, from Mexican, then they got Spanish dish in. See la. Terrible la, you know what they're doing. Eh, you know what I heard the other day? What the other day? Uh, Teresa went out with a guy, you know. You know what? Oh shit, and that guy, let, let's, let's pray for her, let, let's, let's pray for her. <laughs> Back to the comment later on. The first half end, Tsunami United was totally defeated. They walked off the field to the locker room, defeated, demoralized, and destroyed. So let's see what happens in the second half. We'll go for a quick commercial break and we'll come back. <laughs> the second half begins and oh, let's look at the rest of the world. Rugby team, they are looking all confident and all pumped up. Oh, I bet they are going to win tonight with a blaze. And I bet Tsunami, they are probably going to send most of the players who are walking out defeated. Hey, 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 it looks different. Whoa, they are walking out with that confidence and that, with their body posture and their face that I can see. And they are smiling, patting each other on the back. What is going on? And now I see Tsunami. A bit smarter now, they, they're lining up 11 players up against the rest of the world. Strong guys, strong team. What's going to happen here is it's amazing. Just one half ago, Tsunami was all messed up. I don't know what they were doing, but now they have 11 solid guys out there ready to fight. One minute to the game, the first goal went in. Second minute, a touchdown. Third, a free kick. Oh, the score is increasing. What happened? Tsunami. At the end of the second half, Tsunami won. 
amazing. Now I tell you, never in my career as a commentator, as an athlete and as a coach, have I ever seen a team go from 100 nil down in the first half to win back 200. Never have I seen a team from a demoralized, grumpy, crazy bunch of people and the second half victorious. I have to check this out. I have to check this out. Whoa, it's so tiring for me running up and down, but since the boss said I have to run, I have to run and to check out what happens. I'm talk to the coach, talk to the team. So, TV viewers, stay in there. I'll bring you live. Interview with the team and the coach that created the miracle. So, uh, you'd like to tell us, share the audience, what happened? What happened? To be honest, when we entered the locker room, nobody blamed anyone. We took a good look at ourselves. We, we sit down in a circle and look at each other. Then someone re recalled the great coach. I, if I remember, it was, it was Tom. Tom came out and said, Hey, guys, do you remember the great coach, the one who invented the game and wrote the master game plan? Hey, wouldn't it make sense to see what he says? And the rest of us, we oh. It almost seemed like we, the, the light suddenly dawned on us. We said, hey, yeah, that, that, that's true. And, and our coach, and our coach shared with us about this great coach. The one who invented this wonderful game and he wrote that master game plan. That great coach gave himself to get the game started. And to teach the first team of short players everything he knew. And that was how we got our original game plan. And that was how, in this game plan, we read what each of us should do. What was the basic technique we go? What was the tactic that we had to use? And we know the end of the game. We know what we had to do to win the game. And suddenly, the whole team became quiet. It was as if the great coach was there in our midst. Somehow, his spirit got inside us. And we were motivated. We were all standing up and saying, Hey, guys, let's go, let's go. The credit does not belong to us, it belongs to the great coach. And the Bible says in Psalm 133 verse 1, Behold, how good and pleasant is it for brethren to dwell together in the world. You know, tonight I share this simple message for all of us. We cannot be a team, we cannot be a group that says it is the leader who will reach the world. We cannot have that thought. All of us must do our part. As leader, our job is not to take your role. Our job is to equip you, that you may reach your role, that you may go out and play that game that God will be. Secondly, we cannot always be worshipping and fellowshipping and all about us, me, myself. It's my comfort zone. It's all about us when we come. We have to go out into the world to reach the world. If we don't step out to play, so what if we know all the greatest tactics in the world? How to break down a team in 25 steps? How to have three pass and a goal? No use. Unless you step on court, unless you step on the field, it's useless. And lastly, when we step on court, when we step out to work, when we start to serve, we start to reach our world, we cannot let small differences get to us. Why you always wear slippers? Why you always wear shoes? I don't like your face, I don't like your hair, I don't like your clothes, I don't like your like you. Let us know allow small things like that to hinder the great world. And maybe be a team that goes out there, 11 of us, standing down there facing the opponent face to face, ready to tackle that opponent. And whatever sport you play, soccer, basketball, floorball, netball, hockey, whatever sport you play is the same. You don't send out a team that's this united. You don't send out a team that's not ready. You send out a team that's ready to win the goal. And that's what we want. Lord, we just thank you for today. Thank you for the wonderful worship that we can have. Thank you, Lord, that even without a proper instrument, without a, a choir, we can still worship you. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you, God, that you inhabit the praises of your people and we believe that you're right here with us. Thank you, Lord, for the time of thanksgiving that we can have. Lord, we remember that you are so gracious in our lives and we just want to give thanks again for that. Lord, we thank you for the games that we can play. What a wonderful time of fellowship we can have. Lord, we just thank you for simple things that go along with you. And lastly, we thank you for your word to remind us that, hey, we are a team and we have to work together to reach our world. Lord, we pray for every single tsunami member to step out and step up to be willing to run the race for you. Lord, I pray that you help us not to only be stuck in our comfort zone, but to actively reach out and reach this cause and dying world. And Lord, we pray, help us to be united as one. Well. Help us not to allow little things to come between us. And Lord, we pray for a group of love, a group whereby God, you are seen. Lord, will you bless the rest of this time? Will you continue to be with us? We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Announcement after the show, as we all uh, service. Uh, this, if y'all don't know, is our blog. Uh, please visit it. Please, have, please check the updates uh, and everything. Just briefly go through.